I once said this a few months ago, that the exclusion of young people in, in the NPF decision-making body is very worrying to me. Get me right. I'm not supporting the NPF. It is the ruling party for now. A comparison was, in 1980, the then Prime Minister Robert Mugabe worked with a lot of young people, including our own president, Emerson Mnangagwa. He, he was in his status. And the Minister of Youth was the former Vice President, Joyce Mujuru. Dr. Simba Makon was just 30. The issue here is, where are the young people that were there in 1980? Are you telling me that the likes of Rutendo Benson Martinyarare, the likes of A.C. Lumumba, all these young people, even Taurai Kandishaya, is still in his 30s? Why are they not included in the highest decision-making body, like the Central Committee, like the Politburo? They are not there. I might be wrong. But the issue is, these are your foot soldiers. These are the people that are in touch with reality. And they will be your defenders on the bigger scale of things. So I really feel that ZANPF is doing itself a disservice because they are not bringing in young leaders. I would be happy if I see 30% of old people, 30% of young people, and 30% of the middle-aged people, like those that are in their 40s or in their 50s. But including all of them in the Central Committee and the highest decision-making board, for me, it's very worrying. Where are we going as the youth? Why do you call us leaders of tomorrow if you are not involving us in the politics of the day? One might say they don't have experience. But what about them in 1980? They didn't have experience but they were thrown into cabinet posts. So, hear me guys from ZANPF. I'm not against you, but I really think that excluding young people is very suicidal. And one day, it will come back to haunt you. I'm just a political analyst, and I just came to say, hi, watch the space.